Hey, pen people. As you can tell, this video is gonna be a little bit different. We're not at my desk today, we are on the road. Um, so I thought it'd be fun to do a little vlog style video about this trip because my wife and I recently went to Rexburg, Idaho to visit friends and family. And this is kind of a special place for my pen hobby because this is the place where it began. So I thought it would be fun to film some of this trip for you and um, just tell you how it went. Um, and if you like this kind of video, let me know and I might do more of them occasionally. Uh, don't worry, it won't become the norm, but I do enjoy breaking it up a little bit. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you like this kind of thing. So we were driving from Utah up into Idaho, um, pretty desolate, but also pretty beautiful. I really, really like the landscape. It can get a little bit lonely, but um, it's still really nice to drive through. And on this trip, we were staying with an older couple that I have known for a long time. When I served a mission for my church in Oklahoma, well over a decade ago now, um, they were the leaders of, of my mission. And so I got to stay with them, my mission president and his wife. And I missed taking a video of the Welcome to Idaho sign but uh, we had to take a pit stop and we found this and I feel like that kind of covers it. <laughs> and this is us pulling into Rexburg, Idaho. So um, that's the Rexburg Temple up on the hill. It's a beautiful, beautiful building. It's worth looking up so you can see, um, you know, close up pictures of. And then of course you have all this industrial stuff that's super <laughs> welcoming when you come into a city. I, I like Rexburg though, it's a beautiful place. The first morning after we got there, he took me out on his golf cart, out on this dirt road, to go check the water level in the river. Because who needs a weather app when you can just hop in your golf cart and go down to the river and check it? Because <laughs> you know, this year um, a lot of places have been under threat of flooding and a lot of places have flooded, so it's on a lot of people's minds. Um, fortunately the river was in okay, an, an okay situation, so nothing too bad so far. And we took a trip to BYU-Idaho on my birthday. This is where my wife and I met. Um, we were both going to school here. Um, it's a lovely place. I, I really enjoyed my time there. So we were able to take um, my daughter and she loved it. Um, and we had my baby son with us as well, but of course he didn't really care. Um, he, he likes being outside though. But anyway, so we just had fun exploring. It's uh, not the biggest campus in the world, but big enough that there's a lot to see and um, a lot of the buildings are really nice. Um, this is the Spory building. It actually burned down back in the day, so this is like a, a rebuilt version of it. But it's the art building and the communications building, so we had to stop by and see the art gallery. Um, lots of interesting little sculpture things, like a house on a wheelchair or a barn, something. <laughs> um, I like this kind of art though, I think it's interesting. But, uh, but yeah, so we stopped there. I know universities are for, you know, young grown-ups, but three-year-olds love them too, apparently. <laughs> Our three-year-old love just running around this place. Lots of sidewalks, lots of stairs, lots of pictures, lots of people. It's a, it's a fun place. So this is a library. I used to work in the library, um, not for the, the actual library itself, but there was a department office in here that I worked for as a writer, and that was really fun. Um, I really, really liked that job quite a bit. This is the tutoring center here. I actually worked there for a little bit as well, um, helping students with their writing, um, which by the way, if you need help with your writing, I, I do that professionally now, full time. Well sort of full-time <laughs> it's, it's it's building up to full-time but um but yeah so i have a link down below if you want to check that out that's the smith building out the window there that's where i spent a lot of time as an english major and we're going to come across the bridge here into the mc building which is where the food court is and the bookstore i was really excited to go to the bookstore so, yeah, but we had to go see the, the food court, you know, for a three-year-old, that kind of thing is fun. Um, and even for a 33-year-old, it's fun, <laughs> you know, food is fun. But then we headed downstairs 
to the bookstore and I have a lot of fun memories of the bookstore. I bought some felt tip pens back in the day there that kind of were the, the gateway drug for me to fountain pens. Um, and I think they used to have some fountain pens here. I think it, at least they had Pilot Varsities or something. Um, so I had to check out their pen section. I wasn't really expecting much. I didn't really find much. It's, you know, Sharpies and zebras and uniballs and that sort of thing. But it's, it's good enough for most people. Um, the really fun thing though came after this. I found some familiar looking notebooks, field notes. Um, I've only tried the, the plain brown ones that you see there. Um, and I don't particularly care for the paper. They get the job done. Um, I think some of the other ones have different paper though. I haven't tried them yet. But I don't use a lot of pocket size notebooks. I, I do, but I just don't go through them very quickly. I prefer A5s um, mostly, which is why I was really excited um, for what I found next. Found a bunch of Loic terms. And Loic terms, they're not the like fanciest paper ever, but they are one of my favorites because they're a little more affordable. And I I I afforded one. <laughs> I, I bought one as a little souvenir and a sticker. And then we went and talked to some of our former professors. That was really fun. And for my birthday, my brother took me rock climbing at the gym where he works, which is always fun. Um, I'm not very good at rock climbing, but I enjoy it still. It's a fun challenge. And I accidentally took my phone up with me on the climb in my back pocket. And I was like, oh, this is gonna fall out. And so my brother was like, just throw it down. So that's what I did. I, I threw it and it's, I made a video of that because why not? And I'm dead. Just kidding. Um, anyway, so we took a moment to drive past the apartment that my wife and I first lived in after we got married. And this is where we were living when I thought, hmm, I think I want to give fountain pens a try. And I got my first few fountain pens while living in this building right here. So that was kind of fun. And this is our mountain. Um, that's what it's called anyway. It's actually really named the North Manan Butte. It is an extinct volcano and it is one of my favorite hiking spots. It's pretty deserty, it's pretty small, but it's one of the most unique kinds of volcanoes in the world, apparently. And so it's really cool. You can hike up there and see into the crater and even climb down into the crater. That's all the footage I recorded for Rexburg itself because I didn't want to like take my phone into the living rooms of my friend and friends and family and stuff. But those are some of our adventures. Um, and heading back into Utah, we decided to make an interesting stop at a store called Smith and Edwards. I have some fun memories of this place um, from being a kid. And so I wanted to check it out again. And I can't say I was as impressed with it as I was when I was a kid, but it is a, an interesting store. It's a weird store. I, it, it's like having an identity crisis. It can't decide if it wants to be Bed Bath & Beyond or Home Depot or Army Surplus because they've got that too anyway. But it's interesting. So you got all your, your kitcheny stuff here and some greeting cards and some coolers and a random seating area and I don't know why it's there. Um, more coolers, we've got tents, lots of tents, and what else do you have there? Life jackets, um, water sports stuff, fishing, lots and lots of random stuff, including army surplus, which is the real, really interesting part of this store. They've got a bunch of old military, fire department, police, type stuff. Helmets. Um, I'm not sure quite what these are, but I think they're like some kind of heat resistant kind of suit. So if you ever need that, then you know where to find it. Smith and Edwards. Also belt buckles. Lots and lots of belt buckles. 50 cents a pop. So if you ever need a belt buckle, I, yep, more belt buckles. Don't know what those are, but they're five cents. So great deal. Um, yeah, all kinds of stuff. Oh yeah, ammo boxes. Those can actually be really nice toolboxes. Um, my dad's used them for that before. So that's fun. Oh yeah, pins. Lots and lots and lots of military pins. And more pins. 
Yep. Oh, and these are obviously standard issue. It was a fun trip. It was a crazy trip. We were constantly jumping one thing to the next, just always going, going, going. It was exhausting, but it was a good trip. It was fun to catch up with old friends, old professors, family, do some fun things. But I was definitely glad to be on the way home again. Thanks for watching. Again, if you want me to do more videos like this, then let me know. Um, I have fun making them. If you have fun watching them, then I'll keep making them.